Alright, um, what up guys, um, so I decided I was going to do some more tutorials because I did them a while back, but, uh, I sold that channel, so, um, the tutorials aren't up anymore, so I'm just going to start doing some more, and I'm not going to do just simple, like, effects that most people know, I'm going to do some, like, effects that I've created, like, some that, like, are original to me, so, um, I'm gonna teach you guys how to um, do that like 2D text effect like this in front of Faze Ramos's edit. A lot of people have been asking for it, so um, I decided I'd just give out a tutorial for it. So like right, I'll keep going. Okay, here it's about to come. Right here, when it blockades in and then it explodes out. So, this part. Okay, so, yeah. Um, it's actually surprisingly easier than most people think, but open up After Effects, bring in your clip. Um, let's see. Def up. I use one of these clips. Let's try this one. Okay. Just grab whatever clip it is. And then you're gonna go uh, composition, new composition. And we'll just name this uh, text effect. And so you want to type your text. I'll type. Uh, tutorials and then the font I use is a font called Akka I'll type it in the description it's just a retro -y. it's cool if it's cool font okay and um, I'm gonna go with colors green and white so I'm gonna make the front green the first letter I'm gonna make green that and then the rest will be white okay and then this looks really sharp and stuff right here and you don't really want that so you want to go um, effect learn sharpen fast blur and just put a fast blur on and put it to one it just smooths it down a little and now you want to duplicate this layer so command D not you want to click the layer and duplicate it, so command D and now Take the bottom layer and you want to go to Effect, Blur, and Sharpen, Gaussian Blur, and make blur that out. Um, blur that out to like that. Whatever looks good to you, in your opinion. And now change the color just to another green color. Make the whole back thing surrounding it a nice green color. Okay, so then there's your actual text. And now. You might want to just pre-compose layer, pre-compose, let's call it tutorials. Okay, and now the actual effect I use to um, make it do that like retro whatever, um, I want um, down to transition and then it's called block dissolve. And then this is the thing. And um, you want to change the block width to about 30. And the block height to about 30. No, the block height to about, I think I used 5. Yeah, 5 ish. And then, so then after you do, actually, you want to um, keyframe it down here and then go forward about let's see go forward about a second a second or two a little bit of a second and a half you want to make that uh, up I did it in the back and in, in the wrong order you want to start keyframe it at a hundred then come to this and you want to keyframe it down to zero so then it goes like this and it comes in like that and then right when the person shoots so now we're gonna 
bring that composition over this like thing and we can see it goes in like this and it comes on the screen like this and then right when he shoots so um you want to line it up so right when he shoots that's when the whole text transition on ends and then go forward to like about a second and then you want to add on an effect called blur and sharpen and you want to go to blur and sharpen and add on the effect called um, CC radio blur and now you want to make this fading zoom and then right there you want to keyframe it as zero then go forward about four seconds and keyframe it at about 250 as high as it goes and then at that place you keyframed it at 250 you want to make the opacity down to zero and then you want to go back a couple frames and put it back up to a hundred so it like fades out like that and that's basically the whole effect it's uh... pretty cool um, if you want more tutorials just say what you want to see. I think I might do one on the Claymore text because I've also been getting a lot of Skype messages about that. Um, but yeah, um, please like and comment and favorite and it means a lot. It keeps me motivated and go check out uh, Word BCT. It's a new clan um, that I started with some people. So just go check that out and uh, thanks.